Well, hello everybody. Good evening. I hope you can see and hear me well. And we can begin our today's webinar uh, on the topic of, uh, of, of a technology that, uh, well, is changing the world at the moment and absolutely is going to, well, change many, many things people are doing today. Uh, but more about all of it we'll, uh, we'll cover uh, quite soon. So I hope you enjoy the information I have gathered for you and I'm going to present to you. And I hope you will find very many, uh, many very interesting details and, and uh, well, will be more empowered and more well fulfilled more secure about about the technology itself because you know all these revolutionary technologies they take time they they need some um, some time to digest them some time to develop them and uh, and then for for um, well um, our nations to accept it before we can uh, we can uh, go almighty on global uh, markets but i have many great news to share with you today and then i have made the webinar today's webinar uh, such as at the beginning we will talk about uh, some news what has been done uh, quite recently and what i quite recently witnessed and i would and would like to share with you and then in the second part we will discuss a little bit about uh, history and about the technologies we as humankind today already have uh, in use and we'll compare them with Skyway and uh, if we make it to the third part today then in the third part we will discuss about the technology uh, itself I have five different topics there sorry, seven, uh, seven different topics there that I would like to discuss with you and share share with you, um, which all will answer the question, why Skyway? So they are very interesting and, uh, and I hope you stay tuned. And we can begin. But um, a little bit about myself as well. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia and I have been with Skyway for more than four years by now. So I also have been, I have had the chance to go to both of our demonstration and certification centers. Because as you might know, every new technology needs a place where it can be built tested, certified, and then uh, promoted or showed to the public, showed to the potential investors, clients. And therefore, we need these demonstration and certification centers. And we, Skyway, have two of those. The first one, which construction began back in 2015, is located in Belarus, near Minsk, in Marina Korka. And the second one, which uh, construction started about two and a little bit more years ago, is located, surprise, surprise, in United Arab Emirates and uh, in, in the Emirate called Saisha, which is about 30, approximately 30 to 40 minutes from Dubai. So it's very nearby there and they both look absolutely amazing i have been both of them uh, multiple times and today i will share i will begin with sharing with you uh, sarcha hmm, innovation center pictures of of uh, pictures which i made when i drove by there so when I went to Dubai, I was from the beginning, I, I planned to rent a car there and drive through 
this road which you which you see here on this slide and on the right side there is the innovation center so let's begin our our journey oh and on the left side there is sarcha american university but yes so here you can see on the right side that's the main uh, operation hall um, of innovation center it's not only meant for skyway but of course uh, work with skyway goes on there as well but that's the main main uh, building of innovation center itself but uh, further on you can see already uh, skyway infrastructure yes here it is here you can see uh, on the left side that's the cargo and passenger terminal and on the right side there is container terminal so on the left side i will show you the next picture here you can see the rails are already lifted um, on cargo and passenger terminal so the supports have been planted uh, or installed the um, rails have been installed and uh, further there down the rails you can see the supports for the cargo uh, terminal sorry for the container terminal and uh, but, but but rails of course back then weren't lifted yet they should be lifted um, well quite soon uh, this year of course uh, when exactly i'm not um, well i don't have that information yet but uh, this year has said that uh, that the track behind um, or the yes the track structure behind the cargo and passenger terminal will be ready as well but these both tracks are 2.4 kilometers long so that's uh, 2400 meters these are our longest routes at the moment which is very amazing and it took about uh, i think well three to five minutes to drive through all this uh, road which was next to this um, amazing technology of ours and i can see there were at that time some construction um, with cranes with the cranes uh, was still happening but well it was mostly finished and now we are waiting just for the for the transportation models to arrive there because they have to take what well, they are all made in belarus and they have to take this long route due to these sanctions um, they have to take this long route to make their way uh, into united arab emirates yes so this is the great news i i just wanted to share with you but uh, of course every technology needs to be certified and with skyway we need to certify many aspects of this technology first of all the supports of course then the track structure itself, then all this IT, um, uh, technical parts, um, then of course the models themselves and the, each technology needs certifications because these are proof both or to many sides. Uh, first of all, to the developer of the technology or the creator technology, which is Dr. Anatoly Nitsky. He, he's not on that slide on the picture at the moment. Ah, uh, actually, sorry, he is. <laughs> he is on the picture, which is uh, on the wall there. Three men sitting there, and he's in the center. That's Dr. Anatoly Nitsky. And, uh, well, first of all, yes, it is necessary because it's proof of excellent work, proof of safety to developers, to the investors, and, of course, to potential customers. That's why we need to do this process. And in Belarus, we have more than seven different track structures and models already certified by Belarus and uh, Russian standards. So that's also amazing, amazing news. And about the container depot or the, the container station, which is uh, which is which was uh, which was possible to see on the previous slides um, next to the passenger terminal. Mm, well, yeah, the container terminal, which track structure was yet not lifted, but that will look like you see on this slide at the moment. So that will be very amazing too. And one another thing which is absolutely amazing, amazing about the sea containers is that we can use both sides of the rail. We can be above 
and we can be below the rails in the hanging mode, so to say. So that's what's uh, very amazing. And on, um, I will just share a little bit more with you about this uh, uh, C container transportation systems because it is said to be revolutionary. And, um, and there are many reasons. First of all, if we think about how sea containers are transported today, they are transported by the sea, then with trucks and of course with trains. But all those mentioned technologies have an average speed about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. And they're very slow, therefore. And um, well, the trucks have to do mandatory stops there is traffic and trains and ships are slower by them by their nature but with skyway our speeds can go more than 100 kilometers per hour we can use both sides of the track structure which is not possible with the trains for example so that's double efficiency and the loading and unloading time is less than one minute so and there will be no traffic which will well occur in our way or or uh, will you know slow us down because we are elevated we are on the second level all the traffic that is necessary to well be happening in the same area can uh, take place under or beneath the track structure so that's why it's it's very amazing all right now i have um I have an excellent news to cover to you because the ruler of Emirate of Ras Al Kaima visited Unitsky's transport uh, center recently. And well, His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Sagar Al Ghassimi, which, uh, who is uh, United Arab Emirates Supreme Council member and ruler of Ras Al Kaima, visited. Uh, such a research technology and innovation park and he was informed by uh, Sheikh Badur bin Sultan Al Ghassimi who is the president of American University of Sarja and president of SRT Park about a number of key innovation pro projects being implemented to further strengthen the United Arab Emirates position on the world stage and uh, his highness was given a door of the Unitskis Testing and Certification Center, where the founder of Yuskis Transport, Anatoly Unitskis, spoke in detail about the technology being developed. Also, he provided an overview of the bold intentions, goals, and benefits of the project. Of course, uh, His Highness was very impressed and expressed his sincere appreciations to, uh, to all the members there and then uh, said that of course they are ready to contribute to this development uh, for the plans for the country yes so that's that's one of the amazing news there and then we have this news so this is a long awaited um, stage the 15th stage of development a little bit about the background of the stages. Well, we, when we first uh, started constructing, constructing the road structures and models, so basically we started the process of developing the Skyway as it is today, back in 2015. Um, the development was divided into 15 stages. And each, each, each stage basically means that something ha um, something well enormous has been achieved something great has been developed some plans have been successful so we can continue and move on to the next stage and the 15th stage is divided also into three sub stages so we are at the 15.1 stage at the moment and with each each stage we will get closer to the ending of this uh, possibility of investing into the company as it is uh, today because investors who are investing at the moment will be part of the so-called mother company the main company that means that wherever in the world skyway track structures are going to be built 
we as investors will benefit from the profits that are made out of this project projects all over the world and that's that's really really amazing so i really recommend you to go to your back office and check yourself the news as well and make great choices because the 15th stage is nearby um it will well we will move on to that stage on 13th of april 2023 so it's in about uh, two weeks and yes there are many campaigns going on at the moment to get the best offer of shares with the uh, 14th stage um, uh, well benefits but when we move on those well, benefits will not be that big or that high as they are at the moment. So therefore, it is very reasonable to get get the information from the source. So go to your back office and check out the news, read about the options, possibilities. It's all there. But let's move on. Time flies. Part two. As I promised you, uh, we will talk now about a little bit about future and about uh, another technologies. But first, let me introduce to you or let me welcome you to the new age because Skyway is absolutely 21st century technology because never before has um, somebody, some person done what Dr. Anatolioniski has uh, achieved to do to make this elevated second level string pre-stress string technology that has so many benefits comparing with all the other technologies that we have which are similar and with such a low costs that's another very important aspect but now the historical part so about 100 years ago a big a visionary pictured future in about 100 years so that means about basically nowadays as you can see on the slide and what uh, I always like to describe when I'm showing this picture to people uh, is, is that if we compare this picture with nowadays, then today we have all these amazing technologies already existing. All these cars, scooters, tramways, trolley buses. Uh, now they're all going electrical, but well, the idea stays the, uh, stays the same. These are all the first level, the ground floor infrastructure technologies buses and then so on bicycles then in the bigger cities like new york moscow paris rome we have these underground subways underground technologies so we have underground technologies we have the first ground floor technologies but the population in the cities constantly grows and that's a fact uh, therefore, new challenges arouse. Where can we drive? Where can we go? Uh, how can we fit all there? There are traffic jams. In Paris, for example, one relative of mine has said that to go to work from the suburbs to the city center with car or by car, it takes about um, about an hour or hour and a half. It's not, it's not a long route. 15 20 kilometers but the traffic jams are terrible there and the same amount of time goes to go back to home so therefore we will spend almost all of our day uh, which is well uh, all of the day with going work staying at work and going back home but with subway he can go there by half an hour so therefore he he wins about uh, two hours each day if he goes with subway so therefore the problems exist the challenges exist and they will grow because as i mentioned to you the population grows more and more people come to the cities because the work is there the social life is mostly there schools and so on so therefore we need new solutions and they're only what I see, the only or the next possible and reasonable solution is to go to the second level. And that's what Skyway is here to do. But of course, we have tried. We have uh, tried successfully. As you can see here on this slide as well, on the right side, for example, that's monorail. But just take a look how enormous that uh, 
these supports there are the track structure track structure is it's just it's it's, it's a very very big complex that's why it's not very popular as well it is in the united states and in china i know and, and maglevs also exist these are the fast trains for example and uh, possible to to witness but they all all are quite expensive as well and here you can see this is monorail again but here you can see the supports how tight they are I mean, they are not very, very far from each other. They are about 15 meters from each other. These supports, which hold the track structure, because it's very heavy. This uh, monorail system itself, it, it weighs a lot uh, by its nature already. And if you compare it with Unitsky string technology, UST, this is Unibus there on the left side, monorail on the right side, then the first point is that the track length already is unlimited bit Unitsky string technology. And the idea for of, uh, Dr. Anatoly Unitsky is to build this transnet, which is a network of Skyway track structures. And it consists about uh, hundreds of thousands of kilometers of road structure, which, which are all connected to each other. So basically, that describes as well the idea that it, it is already designed to be unlimited. Uh, then the maximum speed uh, is with Unibus here on the left side, one up to 115, 150 kilometers per hour. Unibuses, Unicars, they both have 150 kilometers per hour maximum speeds. They are meant for driving inside the cities mostly. But we have high speed transportation system as well, which goes more than 500 kilometers per hour. That one is amazing. That's for for between cities, basically, or between different countries, for example, the long ways, hundreds of kilometers of ways. But if we have multiple stops like we have in, inside the cities, we, I believe 150 kilometers per hour is absolutely enough. It's even more than enough because it's very difficult to accelerate in, that, uh, in such a speed or in, in such a fast way. So it would be comfortable as well for, for passengers. So therefore, yes, these high speeds are may, mostly made for, for longer routes than some few kilometers. But these are just here the facts to compare them. Then we have self-driving electrical cars with Unity String technology. There is no driver on the on a board. So it's all controlled uh, remotely. We have artificial intelligence, which is constantly screening surrounding interior as well. So to, so to see that everybody is safe and constantly sends feedback and it can be also manually well modified if, if necessary from the remote control. And the traffic interval, interval and about traffic capacity, these two points are very, very important to understand because, um, well, the maximum time or the minimum time we can set two unibuses apart from each other. So basically what I mean by that is that when when one unibus departs from the station, then basically three seconds is the time when it's possible to set the, the second one and the third one and three seconds after three seconds, the fourth one after three seconds, the fifth one to apart from the station as well. But of course, again, we need to bear in mind that people need time to get on board and to get off board. So therefore it's about 20 to 50, 50 seconds the traffic interval and this makes well if we compare again with metros or tramways there are five minutes seven minutes 15 minutes with buses for example the speeds are lower there is traffic jams there are traffic jams and so on with with other technologies and therefore these the number of passengers which we can take from one point to another at the same time is much higher with Skyway than even with subways. And one another great aspect is that we, every major, well, road structure or, or, or the track structure has this, well, maintenance area basically, where, well, passengers do not go there, they won't see that, but there are many extra models, which, well, extra when it's not, for example, rush hour, when there are not so many people that want to travel at that time, 
then this excess models can go to the maintenance to, to recharge there or to just wait there. And when it's rush hour time in the early mornings, when people go to work or after the work time, when they go to home, then those excess models can come to the main track and start serving people. So therefore it's, it's a mandatory transportation technology, which reacts as people, well, as people do. It's people's technology, we can say. This is Wuppenthal. It's possible to see in Germany. Again, it's, I believe Germany is the only place where it's ever constructed. And it's not popular as well because it's expensive, it's slow. And again, it's many supports to the road structure above and on top of the road structure there. It's not possible to do with that side. Well, nothing basically. So it's, it's only in hanging mode. Then this is possible to see in China. It's like a tramway by its technology, technological aspect, aspects, but uh, it's upside down. Yes. And here, this is uh, a cable car, basically. One of the most popular technology, second level technologies, I believe we have today and the many countries uh, are building or have recently constructed those, but they are mainly touristic attractions because the average speed is about 15 kilometers per hour. It's therefore it's very slow. And another, well, difference, major difference, if you compare it with Skyway and which makes it it much less valuable is that if you take a look at there on the right side on the, uh, of this slide, there is this orange wheel, so to say wheel, that's an engine and that engine spins the cable. So the cable itself moves, but the cable cars are attached. They're like sued to the, to, to the spot to the exact spot and they are not moving themselves, but the cable moves and therefore the cars move as well. So if anything happens with the engine, then all the road, road structure is on stop. All right. Now let's take a look at the part three. We have a few minutes left to, to cover this as well. We will take a look at how far we will get. Within these minutes, I believe we, we will manage to, to discuss first one or two um, topics and then we will leave all the other topics uh, when we have another webinar in a week. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, here when I'm, well, basically talking and presenting. All right, but now let's see when, why? Uh, why Skyway? Of course, first of all, it's innovative. It's 21st century technology. Just take a look at the slide. We have many multiple uh, varieties. We have double tracks. We have these mono tracks. Mm, all these supports can be designed as well. They are mm, ordered by by the client or how they fit to nature or, or to the surroundings. It's very, very flexible very beautiful it's fast and uh, yes it's just it's just brilliant technology and it's it has taken more than 40 years for for dr anatoly nitsky to 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 reach this what we are seeing or what we are witnessing it has taken a lot of time for him to come well to come up to this brilliance as as we are seeing it these days. Then the second part is that it is ecological. Uh, we are using, or the Skyway technology uses only electrical uh, energy and it does not, uh, well, um, put any CO2 levels out there in the atmosphere. So it's fully uh, going on on electrical and it can receive energy from solar panels, from wind turbines. So basically the idea is to, to get this track structure 
fully autonomous, which means it produces all the energy it needs for movement itself. And of course, you can see here, this, this is just an amazing slide to describe what we can do, for example, in Antarctica or, or, or in cold climate countries as well. But I think I will end our webinar here today and we will cover because the next parts will be very uh, fulfilling of information. So, so I have, I think I, I believe I have already shared with you quite, uh, quite a lot of information for you to digest. And of course, if you want to receive more information about this technology, you can come to our webinar or look it via YouTube later on when it's done, uh, uploaded uh, already in a week. And then, then we will, will, will discuss all these other topics as well, which I promised to you. And at the end, I always like to show this picture where the Dalai Lama is giving his blessings to Dr. Anatoly Yanisky, he said to Dr. Anatoly Yanisky that this technology is really needed in today's world. And uh, also that this path that he has taken is not going to be easy, but eventually it will be successful and then gave his blessings. So that's that's nice way to end our webinars as well and to understand that we have these spiritual blessings from such as high authority people as Dalai Lama. And also also we have managed to come so far already and we are moving on in a rapid, uh, rapid pace because even though there was COVID, even though there are these situations, um, geopolitical situations in, in the world at the moment, we are still moving on. We are still constantly constructing new roads, uh, installing new supports, demonstrating these technologies to the world and more and more governments, more and more clients, po potential partners are interested in our technology. So therefore, I, I wish you all. I wish you all a great success and I hope you enjoy today's webinar. You will be healthy. And of course, if possible, share this information to your people as well, so they could get the glimpse of this technology and let them know that it's still possible to invest also to this project and then uh, be a, a, an, an, an investor of, of this uh, amazing technology. All right. Mm. Let's see if there are any questions at the moment. I cannot see, but all right. If you have any questions, you can all, always ask me later on as well. And, and I, again, wish you all a great evening and see you soon. Goodbye.